Have a good day! beast here and today I plan on blasting my taste buds into oblivion by entering into this gauntlet challenge of weird and crazy candy and snacks from around the world and in about 55 seconds my taste buds are gonna be mind freaked from experiencing sour savory salty gross bitterness and ridiculous refreshing mints what because I want to kick this gauntlet challenge's ass. This first candy comes from Osaka, Japan, made by the Nobel Candy Company, Super Lemon Sour Candies. I've seen Furious Pete, Dude Where's My Challenge, and Reckless Eating try and consume these. We have some Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Gummies. Not quite sure what they're gonna taste like. Hailing from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and the USA. This next candy is Swedish. It comes from Sweden, made by the Malaco Company, Jungle Rowl, black salty licorice. I'm no stranger. Thank you to Hoffa Chaos, uh, who a couple years ago sent me some salty licorice, and I could barely make it through 13 pieces. From the good old USA, made by Lester's Fixins. They make some ridiculous drinks. We have some mustard soda. This next company, Montezuma, is all vegan, uh, and they somehow created a 100% cacao dark chocolate bar. Now, and usually 100% cacao is, is very extremely bitter. And I'm no stranger to bitterness as I've once consumed sodium benzoate, the world's most bitter substance. And finally, we have Cold Smash Mintia, also from Japan. Uh, and, and this mint is so refreshing that it's nasally and it will clear your sinuses. So I plan on eating an entire canister. So with that said, I'm going to get everything set up. And my goal here today is to breeze through this gauntlet challenge, not only experience some taste bud extravaganza in my mouth, but also finish this as fast as possible. So let's get started. Without further ado, I am the LA Beast, and this is the Weird Candy and Snack Gauntlet Challenge. Have a good day! All I'm going to do right now is start off by putting a bunch of sour balls in my mouth. Also, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a good amount. It's a good amount right there. And that's how we're going to start off. I'm going to pour some water. Uh, I have a sweet Super Daddy O mug that my wife got me. The, time, the timer's going, so shut the freak up uh, and make this happen. I can, I can speed this up if need be. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have eleven. We have eleven Nobel sour balls. I'm going to suck the sour uh, right off them. I don't know if you can see it on the blanket, but here we go, LA Beast. Oh my gosh, oh, my mouth.
Whoa. <sighs> Not so bad. No bell, sour lemon balls. We're on the clock here. Oh my god. It's like when I ate the, the 80. When I ate 85 warheads, it's like the sides of my tongue have already been burnt off. Uh, we have some craft macaroni and cheese gummies. Uh, oh, my teeth are so brittle. Shut up and do the gauntlet challenge, man. Uh, no, you know what? I like regular mac and craft and cheese. Very chewy. Does, does it, do, they, do these taste like cheese? Uh, I don't know. No, I would say these, these taste more like candy, uh, these Kraft macaroni and cheese, than actual cheese. They're interesting. All right, with that said, Can't, I, I literally can't taste what they taste like because uh, I <laughs> burned off my taste buds already. cheese gummies made by the Frankfurt company don't taste like cheese whatsoever I think we're, we're gonna have a problem you know going straight from sour to sweet back to salty um, oh I don't know what the monkey the monkey actually looks like he's he's banging the piece of candy oh. okay uh, again shout out to Hoppa Chaos Hoppa Chaos uh, has once sent me the world's saltiest licorice I hope these are not as strong now, literally eating a fresh piece of salty licorice. Oh, it felt like it was burning a hole through my tongue. All right, you know what? Good thing is, there, there's oh, there's kind of not that many. There's kind of not that many in here. Rock solid. Oh, I look ill. I look ill when I just did that face there. Okay, like after eating the sour, it feels like it's burning, like mini little dots burning a hole through my tongue. Oh, okay, three, four. Maybe we'll go for 11. Magic number is 11. Four, five, here. Number eight. Oh man, nine, 10, 11. Okay, 11. Whoa. It's like I'm eating rock solid salt pellets. Mm. Mm. I just I swallowed them whole, that's what she said. See that 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 is just the same exact thing Hoppa Chaos gave to me. Uh, but with the sour on my tongue, it's like burning hope. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. Okay. You know what? Ooh. <sighs> like my, my tongue is burning. Allegedly my tongue is burning. I'm totally fine. 
that for YouTube's community guidelines standard, I'm doing just fine. Uh, definitely. You know what? These are 100% rock solid. I don't know if they're stale uh, and they are extremely salty. Uh, and, and going from like sour, extreme sour to extreme salty, not good for your tongue. All right, uh, Vangrel. Vangrel, I've already lost feeling on the tip of my tongue. Uh, I saw Vito the Kid uh, and his dad, Chris Frezza. Uh, this is mustard flavored soda. It looks like piss. That's, that's the, the one and only thing. I actually broke that down on a piece of paper to say that it looks like piss. Oh God, there's carbonation to it. Here we go. It smells like farts. <sighs> well, you know what? The sooner I chug it, it's like ripping off a Band-Aid. The sooner I drink it down, the sooner it's going to be done. And then we can go on to bitter. <sighs> We're on the clock here. It, it, re it really looks like urine, and it really does smell like farts. I, I like... Look at it. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm. Interesting. Like, if you can bottle a fart, which I think you can, people do that on the internet nowadays, and then you actually can make it into a food item and consume it, uh, it, that's exactly what it is. Oh, gosh. Okay. If I went on a first date, there wouldn't be a second date. And the carbonation, uh, the, 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 ooh, the carbonation, the, the sour, and, and then the salty, and then the carbonation, it's not, you know what, I said I was gonna blast my taste buds into the oblivion, here, here we go. Oh my God, you know what, I would not recommend this. Good job, good job, Lester's fixings. I feel nauseous, allegedly. Thank goodness we're done with that. We got, I want to say like it tastes like stale cabbage farts. Lester's Fixins, mustard flavored soda. A shout out to Chris Underwood. Uh, I have a one of one special edition hot sauce. That is, that's his cat. Uh, go check him out, Instant Regret. Um, and you know what, am I, uh, you know what, are vegans vegans? Absolutely. Montezuma's Absolute Black 100% Cocao uh, Solid Chocolate Bar from the UK. Uh, and, and you know what? Sodium Benzoate, uh, I put that on one of my favorite foods, steak, and I was unable to eat my favorite food, which is steak. Huh. It's just, again, I went on Amazon and I was like, the most insane, extreme, weird, crazy stuff. It smells like chocolate. How bad should this 100% cacao chocolate bar really be? <sighs> hmm. It's very brittle. Hmm. Okay, well I'm still chewing it, and we're just gonna, hmm. Pretty bitter, pretty bitter. Bitter. It smells like chocolate. Tastes like sheet. If I describe what I'm eating, uh, again, it smells like a chocolate bar, no, but it, like it's it's as if I'm not eating food. It's like a chalky, it's very chalky. There's like no flavor. I can taste the bitterness in there. Um, it's like as if I was eating a, a blackboard or a chalkboard. That's what it feels like. It's just I'm I'm doing this to do it.
work definitely slay. That part slowed my, slowed my overall time down. Uh, oh boy. Now I believe Asahi is a beer company in Japan. Great beer. Um, and these I just typed in the most extreme mint. I know there's Altoids and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going, I'm going to eat some Japanese mints. Okay, you know what? Let's try that. A little, little tiny pill looking things here. Uh, and people said just having one of these, okay? People said just like having one of these, it's like very nasally, quite possibly like nasal napalm. Uh, the world's most craziest horseradish. All right, and, and to, to finish off this gauntlet challenge in style, I am the LA Beast. And this is an entire tin of Cold Smash Mintia Mints. Freak. Okay. Whoa. Okay. There it is. <sighs> Not that bad. Not that bad. Like, it, <coughs> like I can't take a, I can't take a deep breath in. Now it's as if I'm. It's probably about 57 degrees here in this room. When I tell, when I, I just, oh, when I take a deep breath in, it's as if I'm in negative 57 degree weather. Whoo! Hopefully, I, I, I can't wait until this feeling goes away. <coughs> Definitely, uh, it's not as nasally as I thought. Uh, it's just like, hey, you could be in the middle of summertime, eat an entire package of minty and cold smash mints, and it's if, if you're breathing in um, winter storm weather into your mouth. So why not finish the rest of this water to even make it even better? And that's good enough for me here today, ladies and gentlemen. As I, <coughs> as I say... Thank you for continuing to tune in. Uh, this is actually going to be the last video filmed in this office. Um, literally, tonight, I'm going to be clearing off my desk, taking it apart. And we're going to be bringing it up uh, into the finished attic office where I'm going to start filming my new LA Beast video. So stay tuned. I appreciate everybody. Just head on over to Amazon.com and, yeah, and you too can try the weird... Candy and Snack Gauntlet Challenge from around the world. It's the LA Beast. Have a good day! <sighs> okay, alright.